road wheels. Different types of auxiliary power units, APUS, were mounted in the prototypes. All turrets were equipped with a machine gun for air defense, except the turret mounted on PT-11, where a 20mm remotely operated autocannon was mounted. With the exception of hulls PT-07, PT-09, PT-15, and PT-17, all prototypes used the MV-873 engine. The road wheels were taken from the MVT-70 and the return rollers from the Leopard 1.16. The prototypes were designed with a projected weight of MLC-50, which equals approximately 47.5 tons, 46.7 long tons, 52.4 short tons. The welded turret utilized spaced armor formed by two steel plates. 18. The prototypes were equipped with an M's 12 optical range finder and fire control system, which later was adopted on the Leopard 1 of 4. In mid 1973, a new turret was designed by women, saving 1.5 tons, 1.7 short tons, weight. 19. It was nicknamed the Spit Smalls term shrew turret due to the highly sloped front this design was only possible with the new m's 13 optical range finder which required a base length of only 350 millimeters 14 in instead of the previous 1720 millimeters 68 in dot 18 Based on experiences in the Yom Kippur War, a higher level of protection than the prototype's heavily sloped spaced armor was demanded in late 1973 and Thespit Small's term was never produced. 20. The weight limit was increased from MLC 50 to MLC 60, which equals approximately 55 tons, 54 long tons, 61 short tons. The T-14 turret was modified to test a new armor configuration, taking on a blockier looking appearance as a result of using vertical modules of spaced multilayer armor. It was also used to test the new M's 13 optical range finder. The modified T-14 turret was designated T-14 mod.20 and was fitted with a fully electric turret drive and stabilization system which was developed jointly by General Electric and AEG Telefunken. American evaluation of Leopard 2 AV and XM1 Abrams. In July 1973, German Federal Minister of Defense George Leber and his U.S. counterpart James R. Schlesinger agreed upon a higher degree of standardization in main battle tanks being favorable to NATO. By integrating components already fully developed by German companies for the Leopard 2, the costs of XM1 Abrams, U.S. prototype tank developed after the MBT-70, could be reduced. A German commission was sent to the U.S. to evaluate the harmonization of components between the XM1 and Leopard 2.21. However, under American law it was not possible for a public bidder to interfere in a procurement tender after a contract with intention of profits and deadline was awarded to private sector companies. 21. As a result, the modification of the Leopard 2 prototypes in order to meet the U.S. Army requirements was investigated. Following a number of further talks, a Memorandum of Understanding, MOU, was signed on 11 December 1974 between Germany and the U.S., which declared that a modified version of the Leopard 2 should be trialed by the U.S. against their XM1 prototypes. 22. After the Americans had bought and investigated prototype PT-07 in 1973.23, the MOU obliged the Federal Republic of Germany to send a complete prototype, a hull, a vehicle for ballistic tests and a number of special ballistic parts to the U.S. where they would be put through U.S. testing procedures for no additional costs. 24. The Leopard 2 AV, austere version, was based on the experiences of the previous Leopard 2 development. It was created in order to meet the U.S. requirements and the latest protection requirements of the German MUD. 
The T-14 Moab turret was used as the base for the Leopard 2 AVS turret, but meeting the required level of protection for the hull required several attempts until the final ballistic trials on 23 to the 26th of June 1976. 25. Following the US preference of laser range finders, the turret of prototype PT-19 was fitted with a laser range finder developed together with the American company Hughes. 26. In comparison with the earlier Leopard 2 prototypes, the fire control system was simplified by replacing the EMES-12 optical range finder and removing the crosswind sensor. The air pressure and temperature sensors, the powder temperature sensor, the Perio 12 commander sight with IR searchlight, the short range grenade launcher for use against infantry, the retractable searchlight, the spotlight, the retractable passive night vision sight, the APU and the mechanical loading assistant. 24. Due to the design and production of the Leopard 2 AV taking more time than expected, the shipment to the U.S. and the U.S. evaluation was delayed. It was not possible to test the Leopard 2 AV before 1 September 1976.25. Despite the German wish that the Leopard 2 AV and the XM-1 prototypes would be evaluated at the same time, the U.S. Army decided not to wait for the Leopard 2 AV and tested the XM-1 prototypes from Chrysler and General Motors beforehand. 21, 27. Two new prototype hulls and three turrets were shipped to the U.S. PT-20 mounting a 105mm rifled L-7 goon and a Hughes fire control system. PT-19 with the same fire control system but able to swap out the gun fourth 120mm rain metal smooth burr gun, and the PT-21 fitted with the Krupp Atlas Electronic M's 13 fire control system and the 120mm rain metal gun. 23. The Leopard 2 AV fully met the use requirements. 28. A study made by the American FMC Corporation showed that it was possible to produce a Leopard 2 AV under license in America without exceeding the cost limits set by the U.S. Army. 28. Before the trials were finished, it was decided that instead of the U.S. Army possibly adopting the Leopard 2 AV, the focus was shifted to the possibilities of common components between the two tanks. FMC, after having acquired the licenses for the production of the Leopard 2 AV, decided not to submit a technical proposal, as they saw little to no chance for the U.S. Army adopting a vehicle not developed in the U.S. 27. The U.S. Army evaluation showed that on the XM-1 a larger portion of the tank's surface was covered by special armor than on the Leopard 2 AV. 27. Differences in armor protection were attributed to the different perceptions of the expected threats and the haste in which the Leopard 2 AV was designed to accommodate special armor. 27. On mobility trials the Leopard 2 AV performed equal to better than the XM-1 prototypes. The AGT-1500 turbine engine proved to consume about 50% more fuel. 29 and the dial tracks had a higher endurance, while the tracks used on the XM-1 prototypes failed to meet the Army's requirements. 28. The heat signature of the MTU diesel engine was much lower. 29. The fire control system on the sights of the Leopard 2 were considered to be better and the 120mm gun proved to be superior. 27. The projected production costs for one XM-1 tank were $728,000 in 1976, and the costs for one Leopard 2 AV were $56,000 higher. 27. After the American evaluation of the Leopard 2 AV and the U.S. Army's decision to opt for the XM-1 Abrams, both American and German sources blamed the other side. According to American literature, 
It was discovered that the Leopard 2 AV prototype used for mobility trials was underweight. NB1, in Germany, the test conditions were criticized for being unrealistic and favoring the XM1. Instead of using actual performance data, the calculated hypothetical acceleration was used. 29. The XM1 was found to have a slightly higher rate of fire despite having internal layouts similar to the Leopard 2 AV because the XM1 prototypes were manned by professional crews, while the Leopard 2 AV had to be manned by conscripts in order to prove that the Leopard 2 AV was not too complicated. 29. Firing on the move was demonstrated on flat tracks, which nullified the better stabilization systems of the Leopard 2 AV.29 Series Production Leopard 2 tanks during a maneuver in 1986 The decision to put the Leopard 2 tank in production for the German army was made after a study was undertaken which showed that adopting the Leopard 2 model would result in a greater combat potential of the German army than producing more Leopard 1 or 4 tanks or developing an improved version of the Leopard 1 or 4 with 105 forward slash 120 mm smooth burr gun, improved armor protection, a new fire control system and a 1,200 horsepower, 890 kilowatts, or 1,500 horsepower. 1,100 kilowatts. Engine dot 30. Various changes were applied to the Leopard 2 design before the series production started in 1979. Dot 31. 32. The engine, transmission, and suspension was slightly modified and improved. The ballistic protection of the turret and hull was improved, and weak spots were eliminated. Dot 33. The turret bustle containing the ready ammunition racks and the hydraulic system was separated from the crew compartment and fitted with blowout panels. The development of several new components was introduced to the Leopard 2 during the Leopard 2 AV development and after the US testing was completed. For the series version, the Hughes-designed laser range finder made with US common modules was chosen over the passive M's 13 range finder. The M's 13 system was considered to be the superior solution but the Hughes system was cheaper and fully developed. 33. The German company Krupp Atlas Electronic acquired the license of the Hughes design and modified it to meet the needs of the German army. 33. The modified range finder received the designation M's 15. The installation of the USAGT 1500 turbine engine in the Leopard 2 was tested by Mark A. 28. The AGT 1500 was from the United States and required deep modifications to the Leopard 2S chassis. However, driving tests at the WTD 41 revealed a number of drawbacks such as high fuel consumption and the poor performance of the transmission, including the brakes. 28. This project was thus terminated. In January 1977, Germany ordered a small pre series of three hulls and two turrets, which were delivered in 1978. These vehicles had increased armor protection on the front of the hull. One of the hulls was fitted with the earlier T 21 turret and was used by the German Army School in Munster for troop trials until 1979. 34. In September 1977, 1,800 Leopard 2 tanks were ordered to be produced in five batches. The main contractor was Krauss Mafia, but Maskinen Balkeiel, Marke, was awarded a contract for producing 45% of the tanks. The first batch consisted of 380 tanks. The delivery of six tanks was scheduled for 1979,1144,1980, 184,1981, .1980, and 300 tanks each following year. 35. The first series production tank was delivered on the 25th of October, 1979. By 1982, all of the first batch of 380 Leopard 2 tanks had been completed. 
209 were built by Krauss Mafia, chassis no 10,001 to 10,210, and 171 by Marque, chassis no 20,001 to 20,172. The first production tanks were fitted with the PZB-200 image intensifier due to production shortages of the new thermal night sight system, which was later retrofitted to earlier models. After the original five batches, three further batches of Leopard 2 tanks were ordered increasing the number of Leopard 2 tanks ordered by Germany to a total of 2,125.36. The sixth batch was ordered in June 1987 and consisted of 150 tanks, which were produced between January 1988 and May 1989. The seventh batch of 100 tanks was produced between May 1988 and April 1990. The last batch fourth German army totaling 75 tanks was produced from January 1991 to March 1992. 36 further improvements. While previous models only varied in detail, the Leopard 2 of 4 introduced a digital ballistic computer and an improved fire extinguishing system. Starting with the 6th batch, tanks were fitted with an improved armor array and new side skirts. In 1984 the German military procurement agency stated a number of requirements for a future Leopard 2 upgrade. In 1989, the Kampfwurfsteiger Arm, combat potential improvement, program was initiated in Germany with the delivery of first prototypes. The official military requirements were published in March 1990.37. The KWS program was projected to consist of three stages. The first stage replaced the Rain Metal 120mm L forward slash 44 gun barrel and the corresponding gun mount with a longer barreled and more lethal L forward slash 55 version. 37. This stage was adopted in the form of 225 Leopard 2 or 6 tanks, starting in 2001 and lasting until 2005. 38. Stage 2 focused on improvements of armor protection and survivability. It was adopted in the form of the Leopard 2 of 5, starting in 1995. The base armor of the tank was exchanged and additional armor modules were installed at the turret. The first batch of 225 Leopard 2 tanks was upgraded to Leopard 2 of 5 configuration between 1995 and 1998. A second batch of 125 followed from 1999 to 2002.39. The third stage was the planned replacement of the Leopard 2 turret by a new turret fitted with a 140mm NPZK tank gun, an autoloader, and the IFIS battlefield management system.37. The ballistic protection at the hull was to be improved.37. Originally a total requirement for 650 Leopard 2 tanks with KWS-3 was projected. 38. It was never finalized, but the 140mm NPZK tank gun was tested on an older prototype. In a German Army Leopard 2 or 6 assigned to the 104th Panzer Battalion conducting high-speed maneuvers. 1995 it was decided to cancel due to changes in the political environment. The funds were redirected to the Neue Jeppenzert Plattformen, new armored platforms. Project of the German Army. The Leopard 2 or 6M was developed with a kit providing enhanced seed protection against mines that can detonate below the hull like smins with bending wire triggers, and explosively for mead penetrator mines. 38. The weight of the Leopard 2 or 6M is 62.5 tons. 40. The latest version of the tank is the Leopard 2 or 7, which entered service in an initial batch of 20 tanks in 2014. 41. Already before the first Leopard 2 or 7 tank was handed over to the German army plans for upgrades were made. 
42, at this time an extensive increase in combat value, while retaining the original mobility of the Leopard 2, was planned. 42, the optics of the tank will also be improved. 42, in April, 2015, Weldham Suntec claimed that tungsten, Wolfram, rounds used in Leopard 2 cannot penetrate a Thrushan T-90 or the modernized version of the T-80. They also stated that the German military will develop a new improved round, but it will be exclusively developed for the